All right, good afternoon, everyone. So for my fierce expectations for a time being in a class, oh, I haven't really thought about it, really, until now. Um, I haven't experienced um, teaching for about a year now. Um, my, when I first started, my fears and expectations were very um, different. Um, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I had a fears um, of um, teaching in front of students, not knowing what to um, say. So teaching K through twelve, you have different um, grade levels and different students too. Um, that's very um, fear fearing. With um, ESL students, since they, many don't speak the language and many um, have very little uh, knowledge of the English language, it's going to be um, tough too. So that's one of the fears too. It's just not um, being able to communicate with them too. But um, on the opposite side, the expectations. Um, I feel we're gonna pull through. I honestly feel my students will be successful in their um craft and their English language. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun too. Um, even if um may not first couple of weeks may not be the best, but nothing is perfect though too. So like um, just having those um expectations that everything's gonna work out is gonna be good too. So um, what do I hope to achieve in my first class? Um, let's see. Just having that um, rapport between my me and my students too, getting to know each other too, not even concerned about the English language. First off, just like um, just like be, being like um, c communicating first to how who we are, what we come from, about telling like stories too. So I want everybody to be able to tell where they come from too, even if it's like um, they're breaking broken English or it's not like perfect. Um, I want it to be like an open um, discussion first. Um, yeah. And um, in terms of students meeting each other too, I want everybody to be friends too. I don't want people to be like shy and standoffish and um, concerned about other people. I think about them too, because um, people are different levels in terms of education too. So I want everybody to be respectful of that too. And um, what I what advice do I give to somebody managing um, a classroom? Just everyone is at a different stage in the, um, their careers and experiences. A lot of people have like. Um, maybe people have two years, some people have zero years, so, um, my best advice is to just be yourself, um, going with confidence, even if you, like, faking confidence, <laughs> and, um, also just, um, be open to students' questions, um, aware of everything that's around you, um, ask for help, too, from other teachers, too, that's a big thing, too, ask for help, um, because we don't have, all, we don't have all the answers, too, which may seem like we do, but, um, we really don't, so we're in this, like, to learn, and um, just to get the most out of it too. So I would say, um, just do yourself, try your best, and um, just pull through. And always study too. Like as a teacher too, we don't think about that as well too. Always study your craft too. So as long as as long as you you know a lesson too, you'll be able to teach it to somebody else too. So always um, always be up on your English and your um, your vocabulary, and um, just just go out there and have fun with it. So so thank you guys, and I'm gonna ha pass it off to Megan too. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Justin. So for my expectations, um, I feel that the students will probably be quiet on the first day just because they don't know one another um, or they might be very chatty because they're excited to meet one another. We shall see. Um, I feel that that first day will be a lot of orientation, just um, having the students understand what the purpose of the course is and to um, you know understand what the expectations are for them but it'll also be fun because I want to make sure that there's activities that allow them to get to know one another and allow them to get to know me since you know I will be teaching them. Um, I expect that they'll be feeling a little overwhelmed just because they will be learning a um, brand new language and it is going to be difficult to do, but I want to make sure that they understand that we are all in this together and that if they have questions that they can ask me at any point in time. My biggest fear would be that I um, am talking to them and they have no idea what I'm saying. They're just staring blankly and nodding their head, um, which might be the case, but I have to get over that fear and just you know, use the lessons that I learned here and implement them in day one. So um, I want the students to get to know one another in the class. Um, so I would probably do an icebreaker activity just going around the room, the students saying their name, where they're from, um, why they are learning English, and then also a fun fact. And 
um, I would demonstrate that to the students. So I would say, my name is Megan. Uh, I'm not learning English. I already know English because I'll be teaching the course. Um, and a fun fact is that I have a dog named Bugs Bunny. And then just have the students go down the line and um, share a fun fact about themselves. So it gets the students to know one another a little bit better. And it gets it allows me to get to know them a little bit better and, you know, really understand their purpose for being in the course. Um, and I hope that everyone um, is able to get oriented and know the expectations of the course. Um, what I would say to other trainees is that um, day one, there's going to be a lot of anxiety because it's the first time you're probably ever going to be in front of a class or if you're well seasoned, it's going to be the first time you're in front of this particular group of um, individuals. Um, what I would say is that you already know what you know and you have a variety of resources that can help you if you do get stuck. Um, but the students don't know any different. So if you mess up, you just keep going. It's one of the um, biggest pieces of advice my mom ever gave me because um, when I used to be in school plays, she said, the audience doesn't know you messed up, only you know. So um, that's definitely a lesson I will take with me in this um, area of my life. Um, and I also you know, think that it's important for the trainees to understand that they have other people to work with and I hopefully all of us will continue to stay in touch and be a part of each other's journey in one way or another. So yeah.